Yet another study tested the critical concept of protein timing. So once again, let's see if getting protein right after lifting actually leads to better gains. Like your annoying coworker Fred, no matter how many times you kindly tell them to go away, the protein timing trend just keeps coming back. For those of you that don't know what protein timing is, in short, it's a muscle building strategy of consuming protein at specific times that can yield the best muscle adaptations. According to some of our nerdy science bros, this concept came into play due to various factors and a large one is from data showing resistance exercise causing very large spikes in rates of muscle protein synthesis synthesis, a process that drives muscle growth. And with this spike, it supposedly creates this anabolic window of time when munching down a bunch of protein can potentially lead to greater gains. However, this is mostly just a concept. And when we look at research that is less about the concept and more about, well, actual gains, post-workout protein timing seems to have very little, if any, effect at all. Still, just like you curling in the squat rack, even though we know it's not a good idea, for some reason, people still choose to practice this form of protein timing. But maybe we just need one more scientific smack in the face to finally get our act together, and this new study seems like quite a slapper. In this 8-week study, 31 young resistance-trained males were randomly assigned to one of two interventions. For both interventions, the subjects consumed a high-protein diet of 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Both interventions also shared the same moderately intense upper-lower body training split targeting 8 to 15 reps per set. The only difference between the interventions was the time of protein consumption around the workout. In one intervention, the subjects consumed two 25 gram protein shakes, one three hours before and one three hours after training. In the second intervention, the subjects consumed the same protein shakes, but consumed them immediately before and after training, aka protein timing. So what happened? Shockingly, the researchers found that protein timing was indeed pretty pointless. Both timing interventions led to about a 1 kilogram increase in muscle mass. Both led to no changes in fat mass. Both led to similar increases in leg and bench press strength. And of course, both led to a bunch of powdery mess on the kitchen counters. Ultimately, through the sheer and immense pressure of doing their jobs fairly, the nerdy science bros reluctantly stated that protein supplementation can enhance muscle performance irrespective of timing. Essentially, if an anabolic window does exist, then it's certainly a lot wider than we think, lasting as long as 3 hours based on this study, but maybe even more. It's gonna be real hard for you to miss the window. Well, except for you folks where your daily drive from the gym back to your home to get to your protein shake is a short 200 miles long, then I am sorry, you are indeed hypertrophically screwed, and you might want to change your oil soon. Now, there are still some questions that this study doesn't fully answer. Questions like, will we see the same results in untrained individuals? Will eating not a high but moderate protein diet make a difference? Or will it be a problem using my protein powder that expired on Christmas of 2012? No single study can answer every question. But this study does add on to a fairly large pile of research that show protein timing isn't all that important. And since we all know very well how everyone on the internet is very cooperative, and loving when told that their opinion might be wrong, I am very confident this will certainly be the last time we'll ever hear about protein timing again. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a timely thumbs up and share it with your protein-loving friends. Subscribe for more, let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to get your total protein.